hello everyone welcome again and uh, in last videos we will see how to we have seen like uh, how to uh, insert the data in multiple tables and uh, how to data in a single um, insert the data from multiple form to in a single table so in this uh, video i'm going to continue that uh, jdbc tutorial and uh, in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a login and logout session for your project your web project or java application so how to create these things just i'm going to show you a demo so uh, for the development part i'm using uh, i'm using that uh, ide as a spring tool you can also use and this code will work on uh, eclipse also so for creating a new project in spring just go in a file click new and search for a dynamic web project i have used it recently so i can find here if you don't get go in other and uh, search for dynamic so you will get a project here and click on next so you need to write a project name here so login demo something and these are the configuration which is uh, we need the target runtime because i'm using the apache tomcat server you can use any server like glassfish and tomcat and all tomcat i recommended you too for if you are using eclipse and a spring so please use the tomcat 8.0 it's good and um, you can use other version also so tomcat and uh, dynamic web model everything is fine uh, ID is very intelligent and uh, it will do for you and uh, the com demo project is created by IDE for me so for uh, starting activity I need some JSP file to so create JSP file just right click on the project and go on new and uh, click on JSP so first of all I need a one file which is my home.jsp and uh, home so I need to do this inside the bevinf folder you can see the home that jsp is created by me so i'm going to run this file first i'm going to check my uh, server and uh, then we will continue so it's for run this project just right click on that file which we are going, going to run and run as and click on server and uh, here is my tomcat server if you want to if you are you going to use it first time so click on manual and uh, search for apache and you can create other instance for this so i have already so i'm going to select this only click on this and finish so the process is start for starting a server and it will take a time until we are going to create one more jsp file server is going uh, start in background so we are going to create a, another jsp file which will be my login.jsp and uh, Yeah, one more file I need this will be logout.jsp and try extensions and uh, it's going to start so finally server uh, server is started and uh, you can see the real time view for that link uh, when I click on this load and a real time browser this is the text which i passed in this for testing purpose i'm going to remove it and save it and reload this page so it goes so these are the three page one more jsp page i required this will be welcome user or something welcome so welcome you welcome user okay these are the four or five pages are uh, there inside the home jsp i'm going to create some uh, link which will redirect to the page uh, i'm going to link this pages so i'm going to use that anchor tag inside the anchor tag href inside that href i'm going to pass that link of uh, home.jsp if user going to click on this uh, link then it will redirect it on home page right similarly i'm going for uh, i'm going to create for other pages like login and logout so here you can see um, this will be my login dot jsp this page and here i need to pass the link of logout okay so i'm going to change the text finally login and uh, logout so i think i did this in this url jsp i don't need to do this here i tried the code here in 
home dot jsp right and one more thing first i'm going to test it so you can see that three buttons are there login home and log out so when you click user click on the login it will redirect on login.jsp and when you click on the user logout so logout will be redirected in the login.jsp so inside the login.jsp i need to write some form or some code for the input from user so first of all i need to write this code inside the form inside the form tag and uh, i need to pass an action here so my action will be my servlet which will going to handle that operation and uh, method will be post i'm going to use that post method inside that form tag i'm using a pre tag for formatting the content and it's pre tag and uh, inside this pre tag i'm going to create a two input field the first level will be username username and it will be input and type will be text and another thing i need to write a name for this input is because we are going to catch this request in login.servlet files so name will be name now you can say you name anything you can write and another will be my password so create one more input field and type will be similarly text and you can say type will be password also i'm going to simply test and the text and name equals to pass right and i need a button here for submitting this form i need a button so i'm going to create a button here so button type will be submit and uh, we don't need the name for this property we just need a value which will write the data name submit the data name okay so i'm going to save it and check here i'm going to reload it and when i click on login that login jsp and register and this is my login page that username password and the user going to submit so when user going to submit it will redirect on that login.jsp login.servlet so login date server is not available right now because we don't create it so i'm going to create a servlet file for this <coughs> when user click on write uh, when you are going to click on that write on that your project and uh, click on new and search for a servlet if you are not going, not going to get it here yeah. so just go on other and search for servlet so i'm not using any packages package name so the default class uh, i'm using the default package and the class name will be my servlet login so when i click on finish <coughs> a demo servlet is created by me by id and this is the my this is my do post method in which we are going to perform the operation because we are going to when we are going to pass a request from to login.jsp login.java and uh, the method will be <coughs> post so i need to write the complete code here in post so first i need to take the request from login.jsp file so a string name equals to request that's not going to suggest me yeah request dot get parameter inside that parameter i need to a string name which is the name of my input field inside that login.jsp which is this name remember this name the name of that input field and uh, the name the string you are going to pass inside the get parameter will be same and the second one is password so request dot get parameter and uh, here i need to pass a password okay <clears throat> now next thing is i need to validate this uh, in this tutorial i'm not going to create a connectivity and uh, i'm not confirm that the user id and password from the user we are going to work on manually next video we will continue it and uh, we will create that same activity by database okay so i'm going to create a condition if name dot equal method to compare to string non name dot equals abc if uh, name will be abc and uh, another validation for password and pass dot equals to, um, 
sd then we are going to redirect this page and a welcome user if, uh, if, the, if the name is the username will be matched and uh, password will be matched then you need to uh, create operation login it successfully so i'm going to send redirect so response so you need to pass here response dot send redirect and uh, you need to pass the url on which url we are, you are going to pass that uh, user so welcome user dot jsp simple before this uh, then user if i will finally redirected on this page and uh, i'm going to write a message here inside that welcome dot jsp header one inside the heading one uh, you are logging successfully or thank you for login or something you can write a message here something is okay the message is display and uh, next thing you need to create a session for the log the logout file so i'm going to create a session here that session will be created when user will be login and user is going login will be going to create successfully so stdb session from this uh, java.servlet session equals to request dot get session so i need to pass this and one session is created for me and session i need to set attribute here session dot set attribute set attribute here will be the name of that session which we are going to access in next <coughs> file or the next activity and uh, here i need to pass the name which will say session is created so i pass this name here and this is the name of my session so one session is created when a single user login successfully and when user click on that logout button i need to i need to invalid that uh, i need to close that session so inside that logout the sp i'm writing a single line code it will be uh, session dot uh, invalidate right then session is created when user going to successfully and when user click on that logout jsp the session invalidate means session is destroyed so the user is logout successfully and um, i think it's done for this and we will check the validations like uh, when user one goes in a welcome.jsp then two links are not displayed and something so first i'm going to try this and uh, inside my browser is not opening way okay so this is my home page and uh, this is the home page simple when user click on login if username is abc and password is asd then user click on submit and it's redirect on that login .servlet. and it's showing me a something error is there and uh, one more thing i'm going to check this logout so logout jsp okay one more important thing is there like uh, when you are going to updation update your servlet file you need to restart your server so i finally restart my server and uh, you can see here when you click on login and i'm passing the as abc and asd when the page is redirect on welcome dot uh, welcome user dot jsp so when user click on that login sorry on that logout button that uh, session will be invalidate and but before this we need to pass the link this logout link in my welcome dot user so login user can log out successfully and we are not going to show that other links are there so inside the header page i'm going to show you so this and uh, again i'm going to test application and login abc sd submit 
yeah successfully when user click on logout it will log out successfully and after log out successfully it need to uh, redirect page so i'm going to redirect this page send response dot send redirect i think send redirect i need to pass here when a string it will be home dot jsp so i'm going to if user is successfully log out and again it's really redirect or home dot jsp so you can see the changes here user click on yeah it will redirect on home dot jsp so if user going to insert any other entries other username other password the application is failed or it's saying the login.demo you can write a message here and then that your file it will not redirect on the next page and in the else condition you yeah, write a message here <coughs> out dot uh, print align wrong wrong username or password password and uh, i need to use the print writer here so you can use here also print writer out equals to response dot get writer so now this object will be help to display this message on the screen so you can see when user going to submit the data so you can see the message here wrong uh, wrong username or password and uh, in this video we'll see how to display that login and logout jsp so the basically thing the basically uh, work for only session if you are going to if you know how to use sessions so you can use that uh, you can create a activity login and logout activity easily so when user uh, login successfully the database is matched you need to start a session and uh, when you want to log out when you want to invalid that session now uh, when you want user is going user can log out so on that logout page you can call that session dot and validate so this is the process and in this video we will see is manually but in last in the next video we will see how to connect this by database actually uh, this day it's it's only single username or password but uh, there is multiple users for that application so that user will be stored in database and we will face the data and we will pass a query we will select that particular uh, name or password and we will we will validate it again so in this we will make some changes the video is going very long so we will continue it in next tutorial thank you so much for watching if you like please subscribe and the complete code uh, which is related to this tutorial i will post i will uh, provide in the description box so you can easily get the complete source code from there thank you